we're going to guess on a timetable for number one for the test when they would have a good test and number two when you think that they are going to have a drug that is going to help the, the symptoms if you were going to guess right now what do you think the time is? Well, number one is easy i think number one will come very quickly okay i think six months is possible yeah i think six months is possible how about, uh, drug therapy treatment uh, how fast could you do a phase one a phase two and a phase three and if we're considered orphan which is the big if phase twos um can in the orphan world be something called a two slash three. You can start it as a, the small study, and if it's looking good, you can just roll it right on into the phase three. You can keep on going. And um, the FDA typically requires two phase three studies for a drug approval. <sighs> two years? Three years? No, that it could be very quick. When I fly from north to south, it seems that I really crash afterwards. It's very hard for me to recover. You guys are you guys um, have a one almost a liter short in blood volume, okay? If I'm sitting at five liters, you're sitting at four. So you're really really sensitive to blood volume changes. If you're a little dry, you crash. You got to hydrate so aggressively when you're in dry dry areas. Unfortunately, I'm not one of your patients. I've tried for many years to get in, but. And this is so sorry. You know, my waiting list, and this tells you how terrible this is. I have a 350 patient waiting list. Okay? And there's no face out. And I can't practice. I mean, I, there's just no way to do it all. That's why, with the help of Hannah, we were putting together this clinic, a model clinic. It was open in, um, in um, Kendall. We're going to have our opening in December. But the point of it is that... Um, Can I have something else? Yeah, sure. Okay, like... Some of us uh, may not be able to afford clinics. Right. That's a concern for me. That's why we're am. growing the University of Miami Clinic at the same time. I have to say, I wish I could solve this problem for everybody, you know? But, know. but the University of Miami, we have a very generous patient that donated a salary line for a physician to do nothing but chronic fatigue syndrome, which is amazing. It's taken us a little while, but we are, have the doctor hired. She's going to start in January. Um, and we will more than quadruple the volume of our clinic here at the University of Miami, which takes all insurance. How can we get into research trials? Oh, well, you don't need to be a patient to be in a study. Studies are for everybody, and studies, um, you don't pay to be in a study. In fact, often the study pays for you. So let me talk about research for a moment. This telehealth study is a really cool study. It's the, the brainchild of years and years of research where we found that cognitive behavioral therapy can really help people take control of their lives. The first studies we did were group therapy here, and you had to get here, and some of our patients were too sick to get here. And we didn't know whether or not um, we could generalize and say, yeah, this is great for everybody. So we designed this other study, and, and it's uh, at home. You take the group on the phone. It's a telehealth. They give you this phone, and it hooks you up with the group, and they, then there's a cognitive behavioral therapy group on the phone. It's very neat. We also have the good day, bad day study I referred to before. I don't know who's here from my group besides Mac here. We still have room for, I think, 70 more patients in that study, lots of room. That's a neat study because we're trying to develop biomarkers. And, um, and it's, we see people four times. We do these very comprehensive and expensive evaluations with all kinds of immune and other kinds of labs. Those are all yours. It's free. They pay you 20 bucks to come. We have the uh, Gulf War illness study that has a chronic fatigue syndrome uh, group. And uh, that is a, a genomic study. So the point of our group here at the University of Miami has always been to advance the science. To advance the science, we have to have study subjects. And frankly, my original reason why I even had a clinic was, was so that somebody was taking care of people so I could recruit my studies. But then I got sucked in by, by you all, and I love being your doctor. So.